Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast here, and Terry Crews, this is NBA on 2K Sports. We're glad we're happy enough to have you back with us today, as right now, we have two games to go, and that's right, before and after, it will be the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports for another season, as right now, we've already have done four seasons ago, right in between from the NBA 2K20 to 2K23, but now, this is the fourth time for the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports that we were about to be hosting you for the next one to keep. And if you enjoyed yourself for having the All-Star game and for the NBA part of this of the program of the 2K Sports matchup, we're happy enough to have you back with us, and hopefully you're having fun with us too. Right now, this next matchup, as we're about to be seeing the next one in between, the Portland Trailblazers are ready to go on to face against in San Antonio, Texas, to play against the Spurs. Now this is what the next matchup is. Keep your eyes out for trouble, because they sent our guard positions. They have Victor Wembayama and DeAndre Ayton. These are the heavy ones on the center of guard position. The guy from the number one spot of a draft pick from, from all the way down for our Metropolitan in the international game, he might be going to take everything what he wants to go for. And let's not forget about anybody's favorite. We all know of and for any assignments, he might be ready to do every game along the way. Here are your starting lineups for the Portland Trail Blazers. We have his Malcolm Brogdon, and Fernie Simons, Jabari Walker, Jeremy Grant, and DeAndre Ayton. On the other side for the San Antonio Spurs, we have is Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Julian Campagni, Jeremy Sohan, and Victor Wembayama. Let's send you down to Frostbank Center. Standing in by, I have a cross. OJ, with Boomer, and the third commentary of the crew to welcome back her all. Ballpoint pen. Let's get this thing started, and here we go. I'll see you all later after this fourth quarter. Let's get going. And the halftime show will be all for everything. With, with Erin Johnson, along with Shaq and Penny the Jet Smith. We have one of the great announcers that we have it all with our top plays of the game before we get started into this one. Let's see who you go for. First up for the our choice A. We got this one is trending topic. That this one goes with a steal. And then watch what he does now. He goes pass and dunk. In your head. Option B. At the theater, we've got one way to go with all forever. It's the random wizard up to do this. How do you do that? Well, there's one way that's an unbelievable one. I can't believe it. You know what? This is my favorite. Let's see what the other options are. Your option C of the night is Il Cyril. He does this. And watch what he does now. For three, pass off with the swarm. Right in decision making. And he just went up and in. And your letter D for your option of the top place is Ang Abdu. It's right here in the, in the center of this wreck. Now watch what he does. He goes with the half court and beats it after a block. He would have made that one to challenge that call right away. You know what? Forget about that. Go with D. So which one do you like your top place the most? And hey, you can be the next one in there if you want to take a choice. And that's a 2K TV wow moment. Now, time to head you down to San Antonio, guys. All yours. Son of Beast, we'll be back soon. Alex I think I got 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Coming 
coming to you live here in San Antonio. We've got a great matchup here in between of the Texas of the San Antonio Spurs and the other team we all call for, the Trailblazers. They're ready to take this thing on with another matchup in between the two. Portland, Spurs, and Trailblazers on San Antonio coming up after this. Hey everybody, it's OJ and we are here at Frostbank Center, coming to you right now in San Antonio, Texas, along with the team. I'm OJ and I am along with the sideline in between a Boomer and Baldwin Peg and David Aldridge on the sideline. Our starting for tonight's game is all turned to be ready for the end of the year of the postseason because it's coming in close. Jones is on Brogdon, then we have his Marcel on Simons, Walker is with Campagni, and it's Grant on Savon. And finally, your key matchups in between, Peyton and Wembyoma. I'm ready to see what's going to happen now. This, this is going to be a great matchup. Get ready. And we're off to start with the tip-off in between of Portland and San Antonio. All filled up and ready to go. Here's Peyton. He will start things off. And our first block tricks up for Wembyoma tonight. Uh, he's been really dominating out there. Talk about the rejection out there. You never see what happens now because that is a lockout. Here's Campagni. In the corner right now, you will find it over to Vassal. Vassal. Back pedaling to step up to two. It's good. First bucket goes into Vassal, and they will have to start off run for San Antonio. Now, they're really like on to a full pressure. You know, coming in for the lost game that they already played against the Orlando Magic. They never did this on their own, and they were not really happy enough of how well they had been doing. I can't really tell how, uh, how hard they're just going to try to do if they wanted to get this thing off right away. 108-98 to was their final score for the San Antonio Spurs as they already been lost. Now they need to do something else about it if they're going to need to try to like, keep it on going if they wanted to keep it out. Here's Walker. Step up for the two. Misses it. The layup, and that will be rebounded by Wembayama. That will be his first rebound of the night as Jones gets over to Wembayama. He bounces past to Jones. Tries to look for the cut. Wembayama up. The two-pointer's in. That will be his first and second bucket of the night for Wembayama. You know the appearances I can't really call that one here because of Wembayama does it? You know, how heavy can you do? You've got to hit that one on your mark. Brogdon, over Jones, rebounded here by Wembayama, number three. Here's Sarvan, he will have his point. Now finding again at Wembayama. He finds Campagni, covered up with the two. That misses up here for the two-pointer near the pace. You know, the effort is not going to make him helpless. They really are trying to get over this. They do not want to be defended up like they did. Brogdon. Finding the two. Nice deep by Sovon. That'll be his first rebound of the night, and they will have to send it on over to Jones. He finds the pass to Vassell. Vassell. Give it back to Sovon. Sovon. Up at the two. That one goes in, and Sovon has his first bucket down. It's an 8 row run. Down to four, under four for you to go. First timeout called by Portland Trailblazers. They will have their first timeout on a start of his appearance in the period. Let's not forget about what happened now. You know what happens to San Antonio? They are really our right, doubtful game. Okay. And let me tell you guys, this one happens to be all for everything. They've done their, a great job here to beat the Milwaukee Bucks without Damian Miller. They've been on a cross shot. They have been killing it. And this was their first appearance to have that win over against the Milwaukee team for Portland Trail Blazers. How does it really take over it and how they have done it here with their appearance in this career? Well, you know what happens now. I really have a lot of like, major respect on them. Like, you call for every player, and Bernie Simons, Jeremy Grant, you know, DeAndre Ayton, they really are keeping an eyes on the game. I can't believe that they are doing it all over again. Never gonna lie. They've done a lot of this good effort to make this stop out of them. 
They've got great communication skills. They're really trying to like keep this thing going. They are looking to get over us and done. As we look for DeAndre Aiken, his last appearance after with the Phoenix Suns was 13.3. Last appearance was three games with 20. But now, his new signing contract puts with Portland Trail Blazers. And yes, I really have to tell you now that they were really like getting approved on that one. They were playing it big. Wow. What a joke by Aiden. <laughs> but, I, but as I said it earlier, because um, because the signing contract is definitely turning it like this, they've been really going up, and they have been really on a dominant on their question. Mm -hmm. That skills is going to pick up a hard one to pick up and bounce for DeAndre Aiden, and they are selling it big. The foul has been called on DeAndre Aiden as run by others at the free throw line shooting two for San Antonio. they will make his first trip to the free throw line for the Spurs. 402 left in the first period, looking to get a good crush out to start for Wembayama's career. First free throw sends in for Wembayama. Now I know that Wembayama definitely did this, but all of his uh, career in this metropolitan and the international game, he was the first one to be picked. But now his team in Upton. He's ready to take his next major appearance. He might be going for the Rookie of the Year. What do you guys think? Well, I'm not really in great capable of Wembyama, but you know what? <laughs> if Wembyama does this one most of the time, I'm going to tell you it's going to be all for everybody. And I don't know what to tell you. They are really are dominating their appearances to make the first game go out there. And alive, no offense. I can't really tell them how they were doing this. They're really on to the full track. And say right now, let's find out what happens if Red Bayama can take it here. Well, I don't know if will will be happening, but you know, we'll see. Red Bayama with the layup drive. That will be his fourth bucket appearance. Just 12 and 4 on a start. Trailblazers trail by 8. He gives off to Grant. Grant on the two. Misses. Remayama giving it over now again to Vassell. Three minutes gone by in the first period. Up at the two. Oh, that's tricky on the angle as Jones will have his first bucket appearance for the Spurs. Now, Trey Jones, I've never seen what the layup goes like this. That one's just like a tricky and bounding. He almost could have lost that ball instead. But wow, he definitely did it. Aiden tries again, this time he puts up a dunk, and the Spurs will have to call timeout to make a new changeup on defense and offense. Well, not to do anyway. They need to do something a lot of it to try to like keep it ongoing. Well, as we right now, as we send you off for a break, Red Bayama has that one coming in down. We'll get you a quick break in this period, and we'll get on back to start their continuous first period of the game. Keeping it with you here, it looks like the twos are on the fight. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Ruffles, the official trip of the NBA. And by State Farm. Call and get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. New substitutions are coming in right now, as we all have some couple players nearing a mark of the almost down to the last of the ending. Let's have a look at the Western Conference standings. This one is not going to be their day, as right now the San Antonio Spurs are the, uh, are the team that gotten been destroyed by the other teams in the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference in between the two. That means they might be done for the season. Yeah, exactly. I, I was actually getting into that point. But this is not their day that they really are trying to like keep it going. You know the offense is not picking up a good thing? They're really all over this. And this is not their day to be here. Yeah, I can definitely say that. You know the one thing about that? It's because they really do something. 
They have done too many attempts to do this, and they're getting away with that. What a block by Zach Collins! That is amazing! Portland still have him behind. Here's Gray in the corner, down to five on a shot clock. In a layup, misses again. The number rebound puts in for Wesley. That will be his first rebound. For looking field goal for Rastanich, they're just going to have to try to like get right to the point out there. You know, I would have been exactly, if there would have been another way to get the same done. Don't even question me. I have nothing else to say on what's going to happen. Collins makes the layup, and that'll be his first bucket and the second of the night. Now with uh, Johnson with the assist. Here's another one here for the Trailblazers as Reed gives it off to camera. Passes to Henderson for three. That goes over the backboard, and it's San Antonio ball. That's it. Turn it over. You have nothing else to lose it. Here's what he did for the Spurs. Persistent of the games was last 30 days, and this was happened to be in a close call range, but they're in second place right by the Indiana Pacers. They really are all into a star. I can't tell you now, this has been really like a devastation that everybody's been complaining about. But don't get uncomfortable with that. They've been really like dominating all over the place, not for anybody's idea, but they are trying to get away with that one in a moment. They need to do something about how well the assist is going to happen. And also, they're gonna have to like try to like keep up the rate. Here's another look. Feibel. Double man on him. And he finds Ray, but he slams down. Good pass by Matisse Feibel. That'll be his first assist. And the first slam goes to Reef. Oh, get that out of here because you know Feibel really done that one. Got a great pass to look for the connection. McDermott passes to Wesley. 30 seconds left in the first period. Back to McDermott. Try to get to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. McDermott. Off for the two. And that will take it over as Feibel with the rebound. They are trailing by 16. Trailing by 12. Excuse me. Grant. Went down to five on the game. And a free off the target. That will end the first period here with San Antonio on a smokeout start with 20 to 8. And we'll get right into the second period when we come back after the break. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Oh, when by Yama, are you serious? Everybody's going over it. And Collins, too. That's what you mess them up on. And if you're just tuning in for the second period, we're about to get started right underway. A score of 20 to 8 over for the 12 to put up an extra lead in the conference. And now we are on the run. Jones will start here for the second period. Now he gives it up to Vassell. Gives it back to Johnson. Johnson trying to look at it over again, and with the starting groups filled up by Gatorade, set to go. That two goes in and out. The pass, up with the layup, that went too strong. Up with the shot, and it goes in. Number two pointer as they're back down by 10. Now he's looking for some help. Here's Sohan, he will try to look over it. Give it back, dish off to Johnson. Six straight left to go. Back again to Sokhan. Here's Wembayama in the layup. Over eight and good. Wembayama with ten points. That goes to another assist as Sohan has the assist. You never get away easily. Sokhan got a great pass out of it. I mean, you got to give him credit. Simons on Vassell. Step back. That shot! Oh, that one tricky enough, and that one made a lucky three-pointer in. And Ferdy Simons haven't made that three-pointers in a while from the regular season, but in all that cases now, 
They're trying to get this one over and done. Yeah, I, I have no questions to ask right now. What is the use of Inferno Simons? I don't know if you can definitely tell them, but you can definitely have another choice if you want to get right into this. But this is all you can definitely do. When you want to make a layup out of it, you just gotta show up and you can make a good finger roll on it. They've really been doing it like a lot of them. Everybody does that. And a shot. Oh, went by Lama with the block. That's another one for the Spurs. You gotta get that out of here, man. With the fast break, and he slams dunk in reverse. Oh my, wow. Can you tell him that that you made the reverse dunk in two hands down after rejection by Wembayama? That is serious. I don't believe it. Yeah, not even all the call for that. <laughs> wow. That was your most replayed ever of the slam dunk presented by AT&T, the 5G Slam Cam. Yeah, you know, here's Joe's with only 4.45 left to go, and Johnson on the outside. Five on a shot clock. Grand by Emma, over again. That's another good shot in the bucket range. 12 points for Wem by Emma. And Tana will call by Portland. 4.37 left to go in the first half, as Wem by Emma is looking for his new record to take over with his career highlights of this game. Well, you may never get that, honestly. And I never noticed, when when one Miami seems to score big, you can't make him like it later on. I have no other idea what to tell you this. But that was definitely all it took. That pressure is really like a hard one to take. But not to worry that you're all in for the heart of it. You have more life. You gotta make that one feel like you're all over it now. You have to play it right away. And I can't really say it right now. You know what happens now because the Spurs are having a difficult season? I'm thinking that this will be their first team that will make a loss out of it. With unable to score Wem Miami with this team, that will be his first loss of the uh, regular season of the game. So that's definitely going to be it for, for all the Spurs. They're definitely are out of here. And then all of a sudden now, nobody can replace it. All franchise players definitely seem to be gone. And that was nowhere near that they can get it done. Some changes for the Portland Trailblazers and for the Spurs. A couple players are checked in as Henderson is checked out and Brogdon's checked back in. But also a new changes here for the Spurs as Johnson's checked out. New replacement will be Kevin Pogney. The two rebound. Oh, Aiton definitely had that one hand. A finger roll and he put a layup. That's what happens most of the communication. They really are getting this thing done. Don't make him fool out of you. So Bob gives to Jones. Jones on a layup and scores. He makes that one in there as a two. After Ali LaForce with the report, Greg Popovich is definitely a putting up a, one of his legendary coach of the season. He's been one of the uh, bestest and definitely been our most franchise head coach in every season of the game. This has to be one of the bestest of the play, plays that that Fred Popovich was helping their players out from screen to point blanks, and they definitely had let the team win back in 2014, and this was their last major of their appearances that happened to be with all the finals to keep on coming in. You know, an easier way to say it now. I know Greg Popovich is really over this, but maybe a one day can always take him down for all this hope. Let's hope that Greg Popovich will have his most franchise career coach ever. The win for the jump ball puts to Brogdon. Just about under 3.30 left to go in the second period in the first half as Brogdon goes up, the shot misses, and oh, well by Yama, that's number three. You gotta be kidding me. Nobody loves that. Faces shot, looks again to Kebogne, and bounce pass to Wembayama. He gives it back. Good ball movement for San Antonio. Jones back to Sohan. Shoop up with a two. And that goes in. Sohan with six. And his third bucket of appearance. That goes in there with Sohan. You've got to get right to it. Now he's broken. Tries to step on the arc. Wembayama with four blocks. And free is off the mark. That's nowhere luck. You know, you're never going to get the free pointers out there. You, you, when you're playing as a rookie, 
You're gonna have a hard time playing this. Get back to stones and now find Kimpagni. He bounced past the Wembayama. Looks to Sohan, a great pass, but it's denied. And that goes the other way as the first block will come in for the, for the Portland Trailblazers. I forgot who the name is. <laughs> you know what? Everybody has a tough time with the names. I mean, no question they didn't go with. Two minutes for the first half as right now Jones in the corner to step in bound to Mbayama. Around Aiden. Oh, good study D by Aiden. And this one goes back the airway as Walker will have it. Walker to Simons. Now he gives off to Brogdon. With the step in bound. Looks it up. And oh man! That's another block by Wembyama. Number five. No way. I had never seen how this was going to happen like that. You know what Wembyama does? He's insane. Look at him go. The best one ever, baby. The cell. Free for Kapotne. And it rolls in and out. We're nearing down the last minute remaining in the mark of the first half, but just checking how well he does, and Wembyama, oh my goodness, that's number six. There is no way to tell them. How could Wembyama do that? Here he comes, and a draw, it's good! Wembyama with 14 points, and his points in paint was 10. How crazy does he do? A lot. I mean, don't ask why. Simons for three. That goes in. And for the outside of the bucket. And now Jones will have it. He steps up, finding Kampakne. Kampakne finds again to Vassal. Tries to step in bound, and that goes in. What a great movement for Vassal. His second bucket in the game. You know, every time when you make a good connection in there, you got a good drive, and you're pretty well at it. Keep it up to the pace there. Simons misses the three. Mbappe finds Wembayama. Wembayama give a dish off to Jones. Let the clock wind down as it will end the first half here. Last one for Sohan. And for Stunspeeder, it's a... 34 to 20 is the score. What a great start for Wen Miyama with six blocks. Excellent game. Time to send you down to Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. Thanks. I'm here with Spurs head coach Greg Popovich. Coach, how do you get this team playing so efficiently at the offensive end? At least the begging's paying off, though. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, coach. All right, Ellie, thank you so much. Stick around as the third quarter begins after this halftime break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. It's San Antonio out on top at halftime. They lead by 14. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Man, this was a ball inside. Shaq, I know you like this. Man, the guys were sacrificing their bodies, making plays through contest, just wearing the hard hat. That's how this game got out of hand. Looking at Portland, Shaq, your thoughts. They really need to focus on finding quality shots. They can't create for themselves and say, hey, things are going to get worse. And I'm talking about the high percentage looks, not contested threes. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back, Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And after a fantastic defense, we welcome you back at Frostbank Center here in San Antonio. Taking appearance of him for Wembayama. He has 14 points and made a, an outstanding defense on the blocks. Six blocks in this game. You know the appearance how much he does. He does really well because he's the number one pick and he's really been doing like his best angle. You know how offense can't handle that because Wembayama doesn't really know how to get there. But you know what happens? That's what everybody does for a shot. It's because of nobody wants that. 
They can't let him leave the mark. Yeah, I can't really say that. When by Yama, he got really got lucky. That is amazing. We start things off as the foul calls on Portland. And as you're looking for it right now for Macomb Brogdon, it was November of our last year in 2023 by 7.4 the assist. It really needs to be improving it because of that. Malcolm Brogdon has really gotten a lot of his pace at that moment. It didn't really help him at all. They're going to need to do something else about him. Get right toward the point. It's the first free throw. Victor Wimbayama getting it closer right now. And he has made his 15 point mark in every part of the quarter that he has definitely made for one of his best angles of the moment. You know, when Mayama comes down to this, he really has been glad enough to play with his team. He says, I have good, confident feelings. I can handle this, and I'm thinking I can definitely do it right away. You know, that's the probable of a defense that they really want to do. Let's make it work. Here's Simons. He's right down toward the middle. And oh my! Oh no! That did not help as this one goes right into the rim. Oh, what was the big use of that one? That would give me a good take. When Miami scoops, nice D by Deon, DeAndre Ayton. He got on that time, and now he goes back over to McComb Brogdon. The screen, here he goes, and the foul called on Jones. That will be his first foul, and another team foul for San Antonio. Free throws coming up from McComb Brogdon. Another trip to the free throw for Portland. You know, nobody likes that when they keep on going with the fouls. You know what happens. This is not what their day goes like. Because that is what nobody does. He can't let that go in there. And that's what nobody likes. They can't rip it out of here. Two shots coming up from McCollum Brockton with just 6.14 left. Hasn't scored anything yet, but they wanted to keep it going. First free throw misses. You know, on the target does happen now because after last season, it was definitely all for postseason with the Celtics. You know, I really have to consider that for more. McCollum Brogdon really have done a lot of his percentage, and this is what he does on his effortless. He made that one all unstoppable force. Nobody couldn't even get there that far. And I can't tell you why, how much he's been doing this. Ever since lately that they were getting this when you're done, they can't leave the mark out of it. I know what McCom Brockman can do. He can try to show it up. It's a Han, now Jones. Now finding again to Kambachny. Jones back to the cell. Six minutes in the third period. Jones on the outside. Off and overhead pass to Sohan. And good layup drive for Sohan. Eight points in this game. Up the extension. Now, here's Simons. Simons watching out. Here's another take. And a layup will scoop in for Bernie Simons. He has up 10 points, looking to beat by Wembayama, so the score of 16 points. You know, I never seen know what does happen. I can't let him imagine that Bernie Simons got really big. But let's take a moment if he can try to get going on with the points. That's all I can care for. Kabaki bounce pass to Jokes. 5.14 left to go. Here's when Miyama up the two. It's good. Numbers 18, the points for when Miyama. And another assist goes to Vassal. You know, I I just never saw that. It was supposed to be Jones like that. Brogan against Jones. Watching between Walker for three. Misses the target. And this one tried to stop the arc. And it misses again. Report from Ali LaForce that it all happens to be Victor Wembayama. He really have to go up toward him. And he's been really working his way down toward the target line. You know, it's very easy enough that Victor Wembayama really had it all coming. He got great blocks of this game. I can't really tell that he has been going big to me. Just let him know that he could definitely keep on going. With the number free throw coming up for the San Antonio Spurs, it's Walker's foul, and for Portland, and right now San Antonio will add their number it's field trip to the free throw line. Kambagni hits the first free throw. New substitution coming in, as right now three players are checking in. 
Walker, eight and, and, and Brogdon are checked out. As Henderson, five bowl, and Reefer checked in. Spurs are also making new changes as Sohan and Jones are checked out. Wesley and Johnson are checked in. And he hits the second free throw. Here's Brogdon. Looking for to get back to his scores without getting being cold. And here he goes up with the two. Ran outside. The free goes in. That one goes with the first three pointer for Jeremy Grant. Three games in a row. You know, every time when you play against San Antonio Spurs, he really wants to get the three pointers in now. So they can turn back down and then get right to it. Kev Bogdan, when by Alice, wants to screen to help the arc. And great cut and bound for Kempagni. That's his second bucket. Being scoreless in the first half, but now he has that scored in in the second half. Really too long to be quiet out there. <laughs> great to have him back. Great! Another three-pointer for our Portland Trail Blazers. 44-31 as they are trailing by 11. Now he's a pass to Kabagni. Wesley to Wembayama, over to Trout, scored in, Wembayama finally gets 20 points, a new higher career record in the NBA. That is a preview of this 2K Sports on the routing call. They never did like that. I can't believe it that they are doing this. Anderson all around the arc and makes the cash in go by with another three pointer. And a timeout will be called by San Antonio. 46 to 34 to score. They are just getting down to it. Nothing but anybody else can, but they are really up to it. They trail by 12. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. As we approach right down here to the NBA postseason, let's have a look at the schedule. As right now, the last game will be all for everybody. Our favorite Eastern Conference showdown between the Heat and the Celtics. These are the final two teams that will be playing in the regular season before the postseason. But first, we're going to send things off to the, to the play game tournament where there will be one of each. As right now, all players who are under the playoff contention are eliminated. Now, it's not their day to be here because all that happens, they try hard, they get they better. But sometimes, we've never seen the teams coming back in the playoffs here since 2020, and that may be their day. They can handle it all to the point that they can go far. I know it's hard for them sometimes, but don't be like anybody else who wants it. Wesley with the pass three up for Perham. That miss outside a three point connection. He's trying to get that three pointer in there. Not very easy enough to get this. Anderson with the layup. It's good. They are pulling back down by 10. And 2.35 left to go. And now Burnham will give it over to Wesley. He pass off to Johnson. Looks again to McDermott. Over again to Collins. With the layup, it's good. Collins with his third bucket of a night. The number six. 48-36, they trail by 12. They cut up, they extend the lead up, and now here comes the narrow one. Five to lay it up, and what a drive. Matisse Feibel really has a second bucket of a night, and that appearance is going in. You know, the between of Matisse Feibel and the scoring of the drop really got him stabilized. But I am not even knowing that they are getting away with that. Here's Collins inside the yard. That's a tough angle with the layup, just like Wembayama does, and he has fourth bucket. Another angle for Fleibel. 
He goes right to Kamara. Kamara with the shot. Tipped it. Loose. Stolen by, by the Spurs. And Johnson slammed it down. Kelvin Johnson slams it in there to respond to the crowd to go at the big moment. Now nah, I'm never gonna like that call. You know what happens? Kelvin Johnson really had that damn dunk down after a steal by by the Spurs. They are really topping it over. That misses off the target. Another go one goes to Portland Trail Blazers with another missed three-point connection. Now he gives it fast to Collins with under a minute remaining. Here's Perham, find Wesley. Bounce pass to Collins on the shot. Good look, but the target was off to balance. Camera with the screen. Try to pull it in, and he's fouled. Johnson receives his first personal, and another team foul goes with San Antonio. As Camera had that first block of a night, he's looking to try, he wants to get back into it. You know, I'm never really going to like what that call was the foul. That really is going to be a hurtful, painful. You're just going to have to, like, get back to work this way. I can't tell you now, because Camera really can't really take all of his credit. Not even when he does. He can't get away with this. Makes the first free throw. Now the news changeup as the San Antonio Spurs will have the new changeup. As right now, and Bertie Simons and Aiden are checked in. And with the other side of it, as right now only one player comes in. Graham's checked in for Brenham. As right now Wesley's on a, on a bench, will take his own time. Now here's Graham. Graham right over now to Collins. 30 seconds remaining in the third. The corner, Johnson. Leave it back to Burnham. Burnham can't find a look. McDermott trying to step the arc, and he makes that end. McDermott finally gets his first bucket. They have the extension going. Can't really get away with now because McDermott really knows that he can find a way to get through it. Simons, up at the two, beat D by McDermott, and I will end the third quarter. San Antonio with 54 and 44, the Trail Blazers, and this one's coming in. Three quarters are done. We get right to the fourth quarter when we come back after the break. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Let's have a moment now to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. Now here's the thing about that. Because of when Bayama does everything, he knows he can make a good pass out of him and then go right in between. That's what happens when the foul gets tough, it gets bent and then goes right toward it. That's a tough little breakdown, but a great way to play for the Spurs. We hope you're enjoying this one, and this will be the final quarter of the period that we'll get in, and we are ready. McComb Robin, he's with Trey Jones, and Fernie Simons is with Graham, and Zach Collins is DeAndre Aiden, also Jeremy Grant on Sohan, and finally, on the other side of the court, we definitely are getting games prepared up, as right in the moment, we'll be the next one to keep your eyes on. As I've heard Simons made that layup in there, the foul bucketed one. I don't know what to tell you now. This is what nobody can get away with this. You can't let him, like, get a breakdown in between in the paint of his own. That goes right toward the center path of the free throw line. You're never going to get there that easily. He hits the first free throw. And the other side, and the other side will be Johnson and Walker. Here's Johnson, he has that bucket, only scored his first bucket of his major back in the last quarter of action play. So hand, Jones on the outside for three, good! There it is, the 
the triple range for Trey Jones. Up the extension. They're all overs. You may never say that Trey Jones got amazing, but that turned him great on opportunity run. Here's Grant on Sohan. Screen on Aiden. The cons on the drive. Good D, and this one goes back the other way. When Miami set, ready to take for another block of his career. Here's Sohan to finish the arc on a shot. Oh, somebody got it into the flecked I bet that might be Walker or it might be Jeremy Grant. Well, I'm going to say I think Jeremy Grant got that one. With a shot. And Bernie Simons can't lay it up in. Collins goes straight to Graham. Back to Jones. Now finds Collins on a shot range inbound. Layup goes in. Zach Collins with 10 points and Jones with the assist. Orlane getting trailed behind. Up with the two. Aiden, what a shot. And San Antonio will have to take another timeout of another defensive breakdown with 5.17 to go. This one is going to be a great day for basketball as this will be a new players will be incoming. So you'll have to keep your eyes tuned for one of the players who have been drafted. Now, there might be one thing that Zach Collins really done all of this, like, effortless in this ability. You're keeping it out of you're just a great offense of the game. They're not really up to a target move, but let me tell you, they're all over this. Keeping the eyes on sight, and they're not really like going over this. They can't leave the mark out of them. You may never know what goes next, because this may be the day that they're not going to get that thing done. And that's why. Nobody wants to leave their zone and try to quit. They've got to do something else about them so they can get back in the mark. New players coming in as right now with Ben Miami checking in. We also have another one for these Trail Blazers. Two players are checked out as Reef and Fiebel are checked in. And the other side as well. We got another one coming in as Graham's checked out and Vassell checking in. Here's another one for Collins. Over again to Jones. Jones on the inside. That goes scooped and went in. Jones has nine, and now they're going over to do this again. Fiebel, deep pass! What a shot by Walker, as Fiebel with the assist. That's a great communication that they're, they got way high mark. I don't know what to say, but don't get away with that if you know that. Johnson in the inside, backs it up, it's good. Johnson with the second bucket as Brewers are extending the field goal position and extending their lead too. Now Brockton looks for help to find Walker. In shot, Collins denies the shot. Leah, no good. It's off the target. Walker sends it in now with a number two pointer in. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. And Jones need to find some help. Johnson get back to Jones. Here's the layup. It's good. Jerry Jones with 11 points. Assisted by Johnson. Now they are really up to it. I can't believe that Johnson really got a good feed off by Trey Jones. They go great. Rogan on a cover rebound by Jones and a shot. Fade away. Good. Malcolm Brogdon. Off on the cold streak, and now he's back in. Jones finds Vassell. The deep bounce pass to Johnson. Decided to reset the group as Collins will have it. Bounce pass to Johnson. Johnson with the shot. Oh, that went really wicked. Johnson with the third bucket. Number six. That really is going to pick up a hard pressure now. Not to tell what they did. Here's Brogdon on a shot. That goes off the target. Collins with another rebound. That's number five. And McCall Brogdon, however, he only made this a scoring drought. That only took him once. 
but not for long because he didn't get enough for the points of his career because he got drowned out to be on cold. I don't know what to tell you. This is not their day to be here, but they are not going to get away with this. There's this, this is no time to do this. And they have nowhere to go. They can't be leaving it off ahead. Vassau gets to Collins with the scoring drought. Finds Vassau. He finds Johnson. Up with the shot. Lay up in. No foul on Portland as Johnson has eight points. We're nearing the two minute mark in the fourth period. Brogan trying to go over with the screen. With the shot, and he's fouled. Brogan and one! He just got five! I don't believe it. If that early foul puts a release, that got him stressed. I don't believe that McCall Brogan got that foul. And now when Miami, he will check in for, for Zach Collins as Fiebel and Reed are checked out. And Purdy Simons and Grant are checked in. One shot coming up from a Colin Brogdon with under two minutes. And he will knock that down. Now in Miami, he has 20 points of his career. Goes right to Sohan. He wants to do it. And not bad at all. Red Bayona with 22. And Sohan with the assist. Great one to take. He's got great communication here. What an excellent performance. And he went out of bounds. That turns over to San Antonio. Now another turnover by Portland with 141 left. And it looks like your team is going to get away with it, and they're going to get knocked out of here. Oh, uh, well, I guess there's no way that they can try to, like, answer it back. You know what happens? This is no more joke. If you step out of the bounce line, you're going to get turned over. But if this is, like, a mistake, that's what coaches job. They are trying to keep the court right on play. Bounce pass to one by Yama. Again! Oh, he just did some fancy move! And he has 24 points, nearing passing the 90-second mark. Now in front of Slimus will have it. Pass to Brogdon. Here's Walker. Walker trying to step in bound to do it again. Double man. Eight in. Nobody around. Missed the three. Dan Johnson will give it back to Wembyama. They lost last season against the Los Angeles Clippers. But good thing to happen, they are coming back in. Find Sovan. He gets off to Vassal. And Sovan will try to score it. That goes off the mark. Second to last minute, second to last possession for the, for the Trailblazers. Looking to get done with the shot. It goes in. And here's Jones, he will have it. Last possession for the for the Spurs. Jones will try to carry it out and will end here with the with the home streak win over Portland. Well, this has not been what they did. I don't know what to tell you this, but this is what everyone does. They are going to win it. And when by Emma will finish it here. Now that ends the game. Your final score, 75 over 56. Run by Elma with six blocks and an incredible run for 24 points. Now that's what happens. Well played, well done. That's what happens now because the Spurs, they finished their win and now they're over. But right now with me, OJ, along with Boomer and Ballpoint Point Pen, this has been a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports with Valley LaForce. Hope you're having fun for the game, and we'll see you all again soon. Good night, everybody. All right, OJ, thank you very much. It's right now, at this point, this has been a blast for the Spurs, as they are putting up a bunch of blocks for the Spurs that puts them in with the biggest league of the night. You know, this would happen. Because they have just been crashing it out of here just to take over it from the right angle, then you know.
Here's how they did with the total statistics right now as we have 72 points, 72 percentage for the field goals for Spurs, 38 for the free pointers at the Portland Trail Blazers. Then it's 100 free throws, putting it perfect for the Spurs. Then the fast break points was two for both teams. 54 points for San Antonio Spurs, second chance points for Portland Trail Blazers. 22 points for San Antonio, assist was only 31 for San Antonio. 14 offensive rebounds was Portland. Then they had defensive steals, blocks, and turnovers for the Spurs. That goes all with Victor Wembayama. And then it was three team fouls for Portland Trail Blazers, only with four dunks for being remained. Biggest lead was 21 for San Antonio, and 14.56 was their time of possession. They couldn't have done it without all the team that they've done their best. Well, it's their league, and I officially would say is, it's done. I mean, you can't really like win it all if you are playing with your team. And now we time to present your free star players of the game as I go over to Terry Crews. Terry, take it away. All right, thank you very much. That's right now, we start with the first star player of the game as we get this thing started, right and gone. Trey Jones with his 13 points of this game, only made his one rebound, an incredible 10 assists of the game with a great connection right from other players. Only one steal was remained and only had six out of seven field goal percentage. One three-pointer was carried in from the corner and only 33 performance run was the finish for Trey Jones' excellent improvement. Now this one will turn it over now to number two as we do have another one to take from here. The second star goes to Anthony Simons with 15 points, one rebound, and one assist. He only had gotten 6 out of 11 field goal percentage and only made two three-pointers. Not for everybody who really wants to keep on coming down, but he really turned it up to be improvable all to his excellent player. And 17 performance run was a new high record to get over right from other players. And your first star player all go to a New Balance player to game. And this one, yes, we do have the biggest victim. And that goes to Victor Wembayama. Six blocks in his game and only had 24 points passing his new record of a high angle from his first season playing with the team of the NBA with seven rebounds, one assist, and only a 10 out of 13 field goals, and 26 performance run. He's a killer. Well, that should do now, as I hope this one turns to be Victor Wembayama's New Balance Player of the Game. And I can't believe that this one is the best one for Victor Wembayama to join in for next season. With me and, and along with Terry Crews and a, and a crew, and we hope that everybody's enjoying your day, and we hope that this last game will be the biggest of the night. So thanks for joining with us, and I hope I'll see you all again for the final game of the regular season. And stay tuned, the postseason will be underway in just moments for a couple of months. Thanks for watching, and a peace out, folks, for a while, as the NBA on 2K Sports Style. Son of Beast out. See you next time. Remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media. And also like and hit the notification bell, the best way to support for the channel. If you don't, I'm watching you. See you next time for the final game of the NBA. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.